Sunday Business Page. This spring, the baking industry is about to receive a big boost in the Pittsburgh area. The Bakery Society Pittsburgh is creating the first bakery incubator in the United States. The society is searching for bakers from different skill levels to take part in this effort. It will provide entrepreneurial training and support to those who want to develop their own bakery business. There will also be an opportunity for people who simply love to bake as a hobby to share their products and skills with others. Jamie Pasquinelli is the Director of Community Projects and Initiatives for Economic Development South, which has created the Bakery Society Pittsburgh. Phil Enk is the Society's Manager. Welcome to the show and congratulations for what you're doing here. I think this is really exciting. Thank you. So, so Thank let you. me start with the Bakery Society Pittsburgh. Initials TBSP. Mm -hmm. What's that? Tablespoon. Tablespoon, yes. Tablespoon. I love it. I love it. So when did this happen? I have to admit I did not know that we had a Bakery Society Pittsburgh. Um, well, this is an initiative that um, Economic Development South started um, in Mount Oliver and Oxville through our Neighborhood Partnership Program funding from the state of Pennsylvania's Department of Community and Economic Development. Um, this gives us the funding to work in um, communities like Mount Oliver and Knoxville. Um, this bakery was actually a great community asset um, and it had closed about three and a half, four years ago. Ah, so there was a specific yes. bakery yes. that was shutting down in the Mount Oliver mm -hmm. Area? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And it was a great community asset, and we didn't want to see it fall into the wrong hands, and we wanted to give the community back their, you know, bakery. Um, so through our, you know, funding and the foundation um, and the support with the Hillman Foundation and our NPP, um, we get to do progressive projects like this and spur entrepreneurship and get community people to come bake. Um, so it's a really exciting project, and we're right. looking forward to it. And Phil, you're managing this. You are a baker. I, I am a chef. Yeah, I'm a, a baker. Chef. I teach at the Art Institute of Pittsburgh. And um, one day, one of our career people came up to me and said, this lady called. She wants to get some a little bit of help on opening a bakery. Would you uh -huh. be interested? And I said, sure. And that was a year and a half ago. Uh, we've been together working on this project. So now you're going to really go big. Yes. Yes. I take it. Yes. And you're looking to help others who are, are they chefs generally, who they've come they out of a be. school like yours? Or, or could they be somebody you know, like me, or my wife's a great cook. Mm -hmm. I mean, could somebody like that be part of this? Absolutely. We have three tiers that we're looking. Um, bakers and residents are our day-to-day -day bakers. That's your 40-hour-a-week person right. who's there um, stocking our shelves. And this is an 18-month program where the bakers res in residence receive training on how to open their own business. So wow. everything from my recipe works great for 50, how can I make it great for 5,000, to writing a business plan, to working with our marketing person. Nice, nice. So when they're done with this 18 month program, they can go out into their community and open their own business. Then we have a tenant baker. A tenant baker is someone who comes in, and a good example is a wedding cake baker. We all know ladies who make wedding cakes. Well, this is a way for them to actually make it and sell it through the bakery and have everything done legally. Nice. So they fill a void that the bakery has. And then we have community bakers. This could be anyone from the Girl Scouts and Boy Scouts who just want to come in and decorate cookies, somebody who needs to make 100 cookies for a wedding table. Right, right. I love it. I really love it. So tell me, Jamie, from when is this all going to get started? Because you haven't really officially opened no. this effort yet. Um, we are under construction right now, which is um, moving pretty quickly. Um, and we hope to be open by uh, spring. Later this spring. Yes. And so, are you looking then for applicants? Uh, people can uh, send, ch take a look at the website and Correct. and send in applications to be part of this. Do you have an idea how many people will be able to participate? Um, we are looking for three um, bakers and residents, mm -hmm. um, but we will be taking rolling applications all of the time. Um, please go to our uh, website, and there is an application there, and you can fill that out, and right. we will get it. Yeah. So, what will this mean for the community? I think that this is going, first of all, we are getting so much excitement around this. This is a great project. Sure. It's fun. Um, Who we, doesn't love a bakery? Right, <laughs> right. I mean, it's going to uh, spur so much entrepreneurship and goodwill. And it's just, it's just a really fun project that I think right. that everybody's going to love. 
So let me ask the chef, can we all drop by once it's up and running and oh, sample your... Oh, please do. <laughs> Absolutely, please do. Because like I said, we're not only, only going to have the three or four bakers and residents, we're going to have the tenant bakers supplying things. So this might be something really unusual like a chai tea donut. Mm -hmm. that maybe we haven't had anywhere else. This is what we're looking for. People who have a good product, but just need the branding and they need a little bit of work to right. get it out there. So is there only one bakery then in Mount Oliver? That's the one to go to to sample these products or ultimately you hope to have others? Well, I guess the entrepreneurial bakeries, uh, they could be developed all over the they place. They could be anywhere. There at one time were three bakeries in Mount Oliver. Um, we don't have a requirement that you have to put your bakery when you open in Mount Oliver. Put it in the south side. Put it in Philadelphia. It doesn't matter wherever you come from. Oh, not We're Philadelphia. Here. We want it in Pittsburgh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, my daughter travels to Philly a lot. So when I go to see her, I need a bakery Good. that I can trust. <laughs> well, thank you so much for yes. coming in and sharing with us, uh, Jamie and Phil. This is absolutely a great idea. I can't wait to see it in operation. I hope you'll come back a year from now and give us a progress We'd report. Love Will to. you do that? Absolutely. Good. Thank you again thank for you. being with thank us. Thank you. When the Sunday business page continues, why family links is a vital part of the battle against opioids.